So a very very good morning to all of you. Uh, a happy Vishu uh, and happy Ambedkar Jayanti. And I am extremely happy to have uh, my my colleague for so many years, my old colleague, uh, Professor Rajan Nair today. Uh, he is uh, an advertising veteran. Uh, many people uh, who are into creative industry uh, see him as a role model and look up to him for inspiration. And he's also my inspiration in many ways. Uh, he's also uh, administrator and uh, creative director at Omnivore Academy. Uh, look for it if you uh, don't know about it already. And uh, uh, Rajan is uh, like you know a very established, like really established copywriter. Uh, if you've seen some of the campaigns, like even the Raymond Complete Man and many other campaigns. So he is one of the persons, the main think, uh, uh, like the, uh, the brains behind uh, those successful campaigns. Yeah. Now let me have Rajan full screen. Yes, I hope you are able to see Rajan full screen, right? Fantastic. Uh, so today's topic is new age careers in communication design. Uh, we are uh, in a situation today where the COVID-19 is actually making us see the world very differently. The way we used to look at industry, the way we used to look at uh, education, I think a lot of thought has gone into, is that the correct way? Is there a different way of uh, looking at things? What is going to be the future, right? So I'm going to have a conversation with Mr. Rajan Nair. Uh, see, careers and professions will need to relook that, uh, given the circumstances today, many of the careers that we took, uh, we take for granted will most likely either not exist at all or will evolve in new uh, avatars. Now, can you throw some light into this? Yeah, I, uh, good morning to everyone. Happy Vishu, happy Tamil New Year uh, and Baisakhi and you know, it's a, uh, yeah, all wonderful seasons. I mean, great festivals have come together. Unfortunately, we are all in a <laughs> lockdown kind of situation. So festivities have to be, you know, subdued and uh, these things. And uh, yeah, like uh, Praveen said, there's a lot of change that's in the air and uh, that is going to affect our uh, education system dramatically and not necessarily drastically, but I would say uh, dramatically. Things have to be... Uh, uh, deconstructed and reconstructed both and uh, it's not just a question of can we do this online you know there is that that is the most basic question that can be answered i think um, in in the next couple of weeks what can be done online what can't be done online is very uh, is very limited uh, in scope to address at this point in time but i am saying we need to look at the fundamentals that we have you know, lived with all these years and what we think is the right thing to pass on to the next generation. That is actually where we need to, uh, you know, pause and uh, rethink. And uh, it starts off with everything, right from education, the way we get together, the way we do things with uh, each other, for each other, everything has to be uh, re-looked at, you know. And... Uh, yeah, in fact, that's that's the broad, just a broad overview of what I think we will be getting into, uh, not just for this session, but for after the session also for future of uh, education, you know, starting now. So I'll just wait for questions to come up and then we can tackle each one as it comes rather than me giving a one way lecture on this. Yeah, Praveen, go ahead. Okay, so, so some of the thoughts I'll just share are not exactly like questions, but I think uh, you can throw more light on this. Yeah. Like even in the immediate future, say six months from now, mm -hmm. we have to seriously consider uh, whether services such as ride sharing cabs will exist. Yeah, will salespeople continue to physically travel to wholesalers, distributors, uh, stockholders, and retail outlets to sell or to take orders? In other words, will a profession such as door-to-door -door, uh, salesperson still exist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one last uh, thought is, will malls continue to do business uh, like pre-COVID-19 days? <laughs> it's very scary when you ask, you know, questions which are so sharply pointed because, uh, I mean, uh, uh, ride-sharing cabs, you know, BST buses and, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, what is this called uh, trains uh, durantos etc you know jam packed people hanging out of trains traveling to work i mean uh, it, first of all unfortunately for us there isn't much of an alternative so chances are people are going to risk life and limb and <laughs> continue to do it but uh, common sense will prevail a lot of people will stay away from these kind of situations knowing that the risk is not worth the uh, worth uh, giving your life for better to you know avoid so wherever we can avoid uh, you know, traveling together living together working together meeting up jamming together is going to be you know come to a full stop i i personally feel uh, uh, salesmen yeah they going their their life has to be you know relooked at they have to look at their career all over again you know walking into a person's house drink i mean uh, going to a person's front door ringing the bell and asking you know would you like to buy this new frying pan that's not going to happen in the anywhere near future and uh, amazon has cracked it 20 years ago and it is going to be even more uh, prevalent whatever you can buy online whatever you can buy without physical interaction or with exposing yourself to whatever danger there is in the air that is going to take place anyway but uh, you know what i was thinking in terms of yeah uh, careers careers keep coming and going that, that's that's not new that has happened ever since we can ever since the industrialized age for instance today i i just remember 20 years ago when i had a, a, an old maruti and uh, the wind windshield wipers weren't working i took it to the garage and the guy said you know you come at 5 uh, o'clock in the evening the automat automobile electrician will come and he will repair it you so i waited and he came and he actually repaired i can't imagine today anyone repairing a windshield wiper they just take the whole thing out throw it away into the trash can and fit a new one same thing happens with all your appliances at home there is no repair so that that profession does not exist anymore you know so these kind of things are going to keep happening you know software that caters to these kind of and software does not mean computer software i'm sort of talking of software as technology uh, itself is changing because the profession has changed you know so, the, so so new professions will keep happening new professions will keep coming old professions will be defunct they will be extinct they will not be required anymore that is part of evolution not just human evolution in terms of life but in terms of careers and professions so yes hundreds hundreds of jobs which we have taken for granted will go away it will not it will not go away suddenly overnight it will be phased out like flash <laughs> flash software does not exist anymore for most people yeah thanks rajin i think a few related ones a situations yeah. is just like loud thoughts see yeah. most likely or it's been uh, happening for a while anyway standardized goods such as books uh, uh, branded items etc I will be bought online and delivered to the home, uh, which means stores like Crossword, uh, Hamleys, uh, Appliance, okay. and White uh, Good Stores, etc., uh, will they be in danger of survival? Now, related questions again, like connecting question: uh, Will cinema halls and theaters uh, continue to be in business? Uh, would you go in a theater, sit to a stranger? You can uh, sneeze or cough twenty uh, inches away from you <laughs> on your face, uh, and 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 uh, the same question arises in sports events. Like for example, uh, people who have been playing uh, uh, sports like uh, uh, rest so wrestling. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Contact. Uh, would they? Would would the would that kind of sport continue? This just will come to communication design, but I think it just kind of. Uh, thinking aloud of every possibilities uh, that every scenario that may arise due to this situation now uh, would the rest is wrestling in danger uh yeah i i i need to uh, rewind um, a few a few thousand years <laughs> before i answer that question see human humans are evolving all animals are evolving constantly things are changing and we are adapting to change otherwise it's a matter of survival if you don't adapt you are finished you know like the dinosaurs so uh human beings are social animals that has been proven time and again you can't live in isolation see for example simple uh, simple example that i can remember is uh, a wild bear in in the in the jungle uh, has a baby cub it rears it it looks after it it protects it feeds it etc for a while then it uh, makes it climb a tree and when the cub has climbed the tree the mother just turns around and runs away leaving the cub up the tree says 
that's it my job is done now you are on your own and the cub either survives or it uh, sinks it does it is but human beings are not like that we we need social contact we need the tribal connect you know the jargon for that tribal connect we need to touch and feel we need to be together we need to interact with each other and uh, that's how we grow that's how we grow. see there would be changes like i said earlier evolution means changing and adapting all the time uh, so therefore we cannot do away with physical human physical presence you know in front of each other whether it is direct contact sports like uh, wrestling or you play across a net like tennis or you sit in the stadium and you watch a baseball game happening but you are sitting next to a stranger you know those things are not going to go away so fast it's it's beyond it's a, it's not uh, something in our hands it's there in our dna you know so therefore uh, like i said what alternatives can work will be ad- adopted will be adapted and will be taken for granted for the next generation or so or even further you know i think see your your this morning session of uh, abcd is a ample uh, evidence that some things can be taught online not everybody thought you can teach drawing online but you've proven that it can be done you know i personally if you ask me now i don't think sculpture and sculpting can be taught online because you need to put your hands into the clay and or to the whatever material you're working with you need that touch and feel you need somebody to tell you sorry this is not looking right or this is not the right consistency to work with now you can't do that in a virtual situation so therefore physical presence physical contact is going to be required so those which can be taken online which can be done in a virtual world will be taken over those which can't be like you can't stop a rock concert from happening you know that's that's human nature you need to be in that kind of an atmosphere you need to be able to listen to the thump of the speakers you know banging against your chest you need that uh, rush that's not going to happen even with vr even with virtual reality it will come let's say 7 out of 10 if you had to grade it it will never be a 10 out of 10 as in actually sitting in a sports stadium and watching the super bowl or you know attending a rock concert you know so that's what i'm saying so it, it's very uh, it's going to happen in in the next a uh, few months and years very quickly what can be taken online what can other technologies can be used like today in many colleges Uh, medical colleges especially um, dissection of uh, cadavers by uh, i mean uh, cutting open of frog alive or dead is not happening they do it virtually right there are either plastic stuff or there is uh, software to handle that kind of thing so yep. those are things which can be taken what can be taken into other modes of uh, education besides physical is going to happen what can't be will continue as it is maybe with minor changes that is what i feel you know but knowing that there is so much change happening you cannot sit back and say abhi jo education is going on let it continue that's not going to happen you if you're not prepared you finish true true very well answered rajan see uh, even though there there's, there are thoughts and there are uh, uh, kind of uh, narratives coming in like wine and dine sit down traditional restaurants you know uh, they might kind of move towards cloud kitchen kind of a concept in, in near future right uh, and and uh, similarly you know the traditional agencies talking about the communication design is, 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 is industry uh, both advertising agencies as well as uh, communication design agencies uh, so uh, are they going to work in uh, what do, how do you see the future of it like are they going to be uh, continue to work similarly with the agency set up and and have a little changes or it is going to change uh, drastically in the coming days uh, no actually it's the it's not going to be very drastic the change has uh, started uh, quite a, quite some time ago the moment the internet and the bandwidth uh, uh, internet came in and the bandwidth increased and uh, you moved away from the old uh, you know 5 kbps uh, modem uh, mtnl modem to you know uh, fiber uh, services uh changes have already started taking place i myself was involved in compassbox.com which was in 2001 we were teaching uh, 9th 10th 11th and 12th cbse and maharashtra board online already with 9000 students in those days you know so that um, phase uh, that movement has already happened but uh, and, and for instance 
today now even in the lockdown situation agencies have it shut down agencies have moved back and working from home you're online although the bandwidth is still now very tight but um, artworks are being sent online and publishing is happening uh, okay shoots is a little difficult uh, because you're trying to edit and put stuff you know which is available without having to step out with a camera and do a film shoot or you know assemble your models or go to a location that you really want to do but if you look at uh, some of the major movies that are happened i would say 60% of that is already computer graphics cg and you can't most people can't make out the difference unless it's something so dif- so so dramatically new like a dinosaur you know which is uh, eating up people on screen you know that has been computer generated but otherwise if you look at it it is so slick you really can't make out the difference between reality and computer graphics today so and that's all generated in a studio so uh, so movement has already happened long time ago i would say at least 10 to 15 years ago people that phase has already started where you can like i said what you can do online what you can do with other technologies or with new processes and methods will be adapted and people will move change change is going to happen constantly as is change is the only constant so people are constantly going to be adapting new things because you get bored and tired you want to that kida is there no you want to do something no something new so whatever new is possible or whatever changes are possible people want to constantly do it so design education again and design profession per se will start adapting to new technologies but what is what is not possible to immediately change over and adapt will have to continue will have to be status quo for the time being that will not change but your mindset has to change just because of the physical limitations you are forced to work in that manner but your mindset should be ready such that you are prepared for the future because you never know suddenly things might change so, fantastic yeah it uh, just one point before i close this uh, particular answer like if it is by pure good luck that we have a decent bandwidth today and the work from home uh, clamp down has happened can you imagine if we were on that old 56 or 24 kbps uh, modem and work from home came no way industries and factories and offices would shut down much faster than what is likely to happen if if it if it continues like this you know so that's that's good luck so we'll have to be ready thank you rajan i think i think very well put the change is the only constant here and we are at the junction a very important uh, junction of human evolution in terms of our learning and in terms of our relationships in terms of the way you look at the world yeah so uh, rajan uh, what how do you see it changing the classrooms like in education we used to have traditional classrooms and people used to come uh, stay about 3 4 years for to do their graduations and then they used to go to uh, industry now do you see uh, especially in terms of communication design industry for example see many newspapers are now stopping they have stopped printing for a while they are trying to make themselves uh, available digitally obviously with with far lesser readership right really a fraction of what, what the readership used to be because many people still uh, are not used to like kind of the digital interactions in india it will take a little more time uh, there are the, the advertising industry suppose in the crisis of uh, out of home advertisement suddenly nobody is out of home if everybody is inside the home so what happens to those areas like print advertisements and out of home advertisements yeah and based on that how would an education in a communication institute uh, communication design institute uh, evolve yeah uh, again i would uh, stress on one thing which is that Uh, there are some things not just for design uh, for a design institute but in many institutes uh, which will not change dramatically because those things cannot be taken uh, uh, online or cannot you know that physical interaction cannot be um, bypassed uh, there are some parts of let's say design education if we focus on design communication uh, which can be taken online and there are some things which just can't be you know you need to you need to be physically present you need to work in groups physically you know manipulate paper and craft stick things together hold things mm-hmm. together work if you're in product design for instance there's no way it can be entirely online you need to go into the tool uh, to the workshop do some tooling do some workshop stuff cut up material investigate new material go out and watch processes happening go and visit factories you know things like that Th- those can't be um, done away with so 
but the mindset has to change you should be prepared that your you should be prepared such that your foundation is very strong once the foundation is very strong you can build stuff on it you know whereas if you start looking only at the top today saying that are ye kal shayad nahi rahega tomorrow this may not exist and therefore you say so let's not get too deep into it that's that's attempting i mean that's trying to hold the pyramid upside down you need to start from the bottom where the base is large you got your fundamentals strong enough you have to be more than just a designer i'm saying that see considering what is happening today you realize that if you are if you are if you are a lawyer for instance and you know only law you finish that's that's not going to work i i i can quote from real example i'm a lawyer by qualification actually i mean economics and law graduate i've not studied law. i've studied law but i've never practiced because i moved into the creative stuff but i have not seen that i don't know law today if i if required i can spot uh, pieces of law i can think through logically but i on the I, i moved into the creative side and i've been working on the creative side for the last 30 years but i'm not again stuck only on the creative side where i'm writing slogans or writing copy i can do programming i have learned it on my own because i know that i can't stick to one thing because i know i don't know what future holds i'm open to the future anything that comes anything that excites me and anything i can move into is good for me i think i think that is something that we a lot of us are realizing today you cannot stay within a small box that box has to be open enough for you to be able to step out explore new things adapt what is required for you and then uh, you know move from that direction onwards it's it's not so sharply focused as it used to be you know in our time for 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 my uh, when i was in school and college for instance my parents were very clear you finish your ssc you do uh, graduation and then you go and join state bank become an officer in state bank of india that was the goal you know but today there's no way you can put uh, any such goal to your child you have to let them go because you don't know what is going to happen 5 years from now what you are i mean you you know it yourself when you are designing a logo today you are not thinking of how does it work today will it work 5 years from now for the student who is right now in college when he or she comes out and starts interacting in the real commercial world how will, what will this logo mean to that person you are already thinking 5 years ahead that's exactly what we need to do in design education also I lay down the fundamentals and the foundation but keep the top flexible so that you can actually move change adapt you know re- reorganize yourself you you got to be a bunch of lego blocks <laughs> you know rajan that's it's, it's almost like the situation today is almost somebody who doesn't know how to swim is pushed into deep waters yeah okay. and <laughs> so how did that person survive yeah so the two options either that person doesn't uh, knows that the person Correct. can't swim and drown the other okay. person is throw your hands and legs and figure out ways yeah if you know if a trained swimmer you will swim yeah anyways uh, rajan let me quote you on on the continuing the conversation and you can throw more light on this uh, you have already this is from your post only mm-hmm. we need to deconstruct our education system and processes not just because of corona virus but because of because in all possibilities it's the next step in the process of human evolution yeah. we need an education system that allows a person to meet the demands and solve new problems with just a little bit of realignment refocus and repurpose can you throw some light yeah so same thing what i'm saying is basically we need to have a, a certain fundamentals in place at the same time you need to put in i, I i'm quoting the word i'm using the word creativity very deliberately uh, i i'm sure a lot of people will have um, reservations about whether this word is the appropriate word and in this kind of a scenario but i'm saying you lay the foundation your foundation is huge solid pure concrete okay that's that's inflexible that needs to be there on top of it you build a lot of stuff which can be creatively realigned it 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 could be flexible it could be dynamic it could be short lived it could be you know um, molded any which way you want it's like you work on a solid table and then you build your lego you can build a lego dragon you can build a military tank you can build a spaceship you can build a mouse whatever you want on it but the table has to be solid enough to support whatever you're building on top of it that's basically what i was saying that that foundation is very critical and that foundation can't be a single one focused thing that fo- that foundation itself has to be multi faceted 
where a person knows enough let's say i am saying he should know some things about history and archaeology he should know something about uh, engineering mm-hmm. you know even if it, i'm not saying building a skyscraper or a dam but the basics of you know of construction of civil engineering architecture I, I, let's let's put it let's do look at it even slightly different let me use an example of uh, a favorite who, okay i'll ask you this who is your favorite film director not you yourself somebody else <laughs> who is your favorite film director yes please any participants talk about your favorite filmmaker indian foreign anyone people we have to be very fast ah huh? the technology is changing much faster than us <laughs> we have to learn swimming on time otherwise we all will drown <laughs> anyways i think i think they're, they're taking a little time there could be technical uh is, who is your favorite film director that should not take much of time karan johar fine okay we will go with karan johar no problem that's fine uh do you think karan johar needs to know something about accounts i think probably you can start answering this, this it doesn't we don't need a response from the participant this is general knowledge i mean general questions and it not accounts himself but uh, uh, you know how oh, a big concert mani ratnam also that's fine i mean they, they're all great uh, film directors so yeah so do you think uh, karan johar or mani ratnam needs to know a little bit of accountancy a little bit of accounting know. is important a yeah. little bit yeah, only yeah. very little yeah do you think, do you think he needs to know something about uh, music yes of course does, does he need to know something about history about history yes of course does he need to know something about geography and uh, of course yes weather and the weather <laughs> yes 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 yeah the does he uh, need to know about uh, fashion and costumes of course yes so I, i i can put the list i mean i it just goes on and on does he need to know there's that and the other you know astronomy astrology you know whatever mathematics he needs to a little bit of everything otherwise he is not going to be, you can say that yeah if he wants accountancy to know something he can easily call in his chartered accountant yeah but if he doesn't even know what questions to ask his chartered accountant it's going to be uh, uh, miserable for him so he needs to know something i'm not saying he's an expert or a subject matter expert on that but he needs to know all of these things and he needs to know it more than a common man you understand what i'm saying he needs to know a little more than what the common man would know about these things for instance if he is shooting in a particular location he needs to know what the culture of that place is what the law of that place is is he allowed to shoot there hopefully his uh, assistants have taken care of it but he needs to be reassured of that he might think of things which they have not even bothered to think about that's why he is where he is right so therefore it's it's the same with what i'm saying to the fundamentals of uh, communication design today you need to know much more than being able to create logos or uh, to create a advertising campaign your 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 fundamentals your base has to be very large and it has to be very solid on which you can build anything so once i mean you uh, nid is a classic example from the old days itself and what education you have been through uh, the fundamentals are laid down after which you say you can put your product design on this you can put fashion design you can put uh, games and toys you know so yes. this can be built on it yeah but that that has to be there and today that is changed a lot more because you know we are now facing something which we have never faced before in the last 15 years or 20 years at nid or whatever right so we have to re- repurpose our whole uh, future <laughs> what what are we getting into how absolutely for it so that's why like i think the the birth of vijayabhumi university is on those lines to to understand like education at large very differently and uh, due to whatever circumstances this covid-19 crisis happened the time we started we we thought it will start and it is also making us revisit our thoughts again ki when we actually thinking when we were talking about an uncertain future now suddenly the present became so uncertain right so we had no option but to revisit our thoughts and and figure out technology is going to play a very very important role 
and uh, for example and this could be the last question before i start taking questions from all the participants now people all those who are here start posing question to rajan uh, an expert out there uh, is a industry veteran can actually uh, throw light very differently from most people around it's an opportunity for you so please do ask question and i believe there to be very interestingly there could be some rewards for those who ask good questions <laughs> i wish <laughs> i had the opportunity when i was in the school and uh, uh, anyway so uh, uh, the way things are changing like uh, the technology is going to play a very very important role we all know in almost every uh, kind of uh, any any kind of field right in communication design specifically i think uh, uh data science and artificial intelligence is going to play a massive it's already playing right you not today we visit a website and uh, or maybe ask a question to google and for the next 48 hours i'll be chased by options and questions and things which which basically which i might be interested in so there's a lot of data uh, uh, and data science involved in there's got a lot of artificial intelligence involved in this right so many of the even logos and visual identities are going to be designed based on the inputs right and and you just have to put inputs and to create something absolutely original and all you have to probably do is select one of them right yeah. so what what are the skills that you need to be a successful communication designer probably 10 years 20 years down the line i know it's, it's a very wild question but it, it's okay it, uh, in the sense like i we want to hear from you because you've seen through ages and you've seen computers coming in and uh, you know uh, smartphones coming in you've seen how technological disruptions kept happening so this is also one major covid 19 is another major disruption what do you see the world uh, after covid 19 in terms of uh, like communication design vis-a-vis uh, the technological changes and tools yeah uh what i would say is uh, covid is a i think an in, in interruption and a disruption in our life that has come luckily for us when uh, technology is fairly stable and uh, we can actually ha- access uh, things at a decent enough speed and uh, <coughs> sorry uh solutions are being worked on uh, for a very at a very uh, on an urgent and critical kind of speed Uh, i don't know how far a uh, vaccine really is away how far away it is but uh, i'm sure people are working on something or the other i mean they're trying for once at least you know people are willing to try anything and everything uh, to to get rid of this whole uh, problem whether it is an old uh, malaria uh, medicine or something new like plasma transfusions etc but uh, but it has it has woken us up rather rudely but it is woken us up excuse me when i have a sip of water one more <coughs> the uh, it has woken us up uh, very dramatically very drastically and you know very shockingly but we are beginning to cope some or the other i i mean there would there will be a lot of fallout there will be accidents and there will be mishaps uh, that we will maybe you know have to turn a blind eye towards but that's that's the reality of the world and uh, i'm sure uh, in fact how many people have died in india today uh, maybe 600 something if I'm, i i i stop keeping track because it's very depressing i don't know how many people have actually died from covid but i think road accidents have killed far more you know if you look at pure death rate so it's not the death but it is the how you cope with the situation that uh, is actually very crucial so uh, 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 and since i have already been involved in online education for a while uh, and now since, since this whole seminar we talking about is on uh, education and uh, design communication sorry communication design uh, i would say that uh, t- technology and online is just one part of it and it's 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 another medium previously also there was a uh, non classroom based education we used to we used to have correspondence courses yeah you enroll for a ba and uh, bombay university sends you 20 textbooks by courier by <laughs> course you know and it lands on your desk and they tell you you know next 3 months please sit and read through all of this and appear for the exam that's it you know that so it was distance education today also you are into distance education using technology nothing has changed the medium has changed 
concept has not changed okay but uh, i have been speaking to a couple of prof other professors also on this whole thing who have been involved in let's say online education for for instance because that seems to be the biggest alternative to classroom education today you know but i'm saying that's not really the only thing uh, and what their opinion was is that if you ask majority of the students they are actually missing and they are uh, not happy with online education they want to be physically present in the classroom for whatever reason whether it is that social connect whether it is a fact that you know you are able to uh, uh, watch your peers working together or you are working in a group together you know you are uh, fooling around with each other that's not going that's not happening online so if you have let's say an online class that's going through the day you're very conscious about oh is my webcam okay is my hair okay you know that's one part of it you know the students <laughs> <laughs> students students become suddenly conscious of that how do i appear in class there are 20 others online also in and then they in the evening and either at hostel or in their housing societies when they have to get together to do an assignment for the next day they are not bothered about all that they come in their shorts and t-shirt they sit together they you know fool around with each other they get the work done they are missing that a lot of online education cannot make that happen even if you turn that part of it online it is still not going to work you know so so i i feel i feel that whatever little can be taken online what can be successfully taken online without losing too much of the fun and flavor will be taken online hardcore learning uh, and which happens you know uh, uh, yeah another damn good example would be hope schooling a lot of lot of uh, intellectual and uh, evolved kind of parents say you know i don't want my kid to go to the usual school where he gets bullied or he gets you know uh he doesn't learn with the way i think he should be studying i would rather teach him because i know what needs to be taught and i will make him appear for an open school final board exam i can do home teaching and they do admit yes the child is missing out on that social connect where the children bullying is part of life you learn, learn to cope with bullying right you learn to cope uh, with games where you might lose sure yeah. you know that that's important that it's an important part of being a human being and growing up and being able to cope with life and with the events that come up so those things will continue happening and you need to immerse yourself in human activity human activity in involves being physically present a rock concert needs to be there you know so those those things so what i'm saying is what can be taken online without losing too much yes it will be taken online or other technologies will be used but those things which need to be performed and done and enjoyed in a classroom will continue to be there because human it, there's too much invested in all of this to let go it's like i i remember long back when the net started becoming more and more popular internet people said oh my god this is actually a very dangerous thing you know and uh, people can it can take over your life so let's shut it down you can't shut down the internet it's too big countries have invested people have invested too much in it it's too big now similarly there are things like classrooms and universities and sports stadiums and stadia you cannot move yourself away from that you have invested too much humanity has invested too much in that you cannot distract yourself from that you you it will continue to be there that's my opinion this is very well put rajan thanks uh, see i if if i may add to that also supposing if uh, artificial intelligence and data science they actually uh, gives you options like you know automatically designs a music for you or maybe a visual identity for you you know what as as a professional i think you you should be trained to understand which of the option works and how it can be bettered so i think again the you fall back to the fundamentals of education right your basic taste your aesthetics your reasoning right your uh, capacity to apply it differently a capacity to connect things i think all these things is going to matter there is a connecting question which you have already more than half you have already answered but let me read from sabita uh, as technology being improved or developed new things coming up as in ai how about education everything is already online in future will schools exist will there be manual teaching uh books papers where will all that go yeah uh, so my, uh, i mean i sort of answered it previously yes. but i'll uh, i'll repeat that there are some things that will be taken online some things that cannot go away because we've invested too much of us humanity has invested too much into it 
So that physical interaction that is there in a classroom is very, very important. Very simple example. Today, actually, it's a fact that AI-driven uh, legal uh, software, as in software which gives legal advice, as opposed to a human lawyer sitting there, the legal software can be 80% as good as a real lawyer. Mm. It's proven. It's been proven already. Of course, it's a little, I would say it's a little easier with a subject like law because the law is very clear in that sense. You know, the law is, may not be black and white, but to a great extent, yes, with minor grays in between, it is either you do this or you can't do this. You know, that is very clear. But, uh, and AI has solved it. Today, a lot of uh, ads that you see on the internet is AI driven. It's created by AI. And that's again, nothing new. That has been happening actually for a very long time. It's just become more prevalent now. So AI will will continue to take over a lot of stuff. But I'm saying, let's say electronic music, music generated by a computer has been there for 25 years or more already. But today, if you are in a gathering or if you sing, would you say, Ki, Are you play some electronic music on your computer? Or will I say, Are you Praveen, sing a song here? <laughs> right? Yes. That's going to continue. That is exactly what will continue. Where human human emotion, human feelings, human relationships are important, physical physical presence is very important. So uh, there's a question from uh, uh, Vinay Kursija. Mm -hmm. uh, what skills you feel we have to impart in students to equip them for progressive future in life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you answer, I'll also add something to your answer. Please, I would I would say. Uh, the fundamentals have to be very strong. You need a thorough schooling. You know, like I, I have come across a lot of students who, including on the net, and these are supposed to be very intelligent uh, uh, parents also, who says, Ki, why should I t teach my uh, child X, Y, Z, you know, whatever, whether it is Pythagoras theorem or whatever. He is never going to use it in right. He's not going to be an engineer. Even if he wants it, oh, Google will to mil jayega. My question is, how did, how did even Google be able to find that answer? Somebody, some human being has put it there, right? So, so it, it, it's like saying, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very good uh, accountant because I know how to use a calculator. You, you see how it works. It doesn't work. You can't be an accountant just because you know how to uh, use a calculator. Nor can you be, let's say, uh, uh, a great artist because you know how to use Photoshop. The fundamentals have to be there. You have to have that skill, the talent has to be developed. Whether you have the talent or not, a skills can be taught and developed. You need to have those things in place. And therefore, schooling at the most basic level, I'm saying there's nothing wrong with the education system because some things have to be taught, whether you know the value of it or not. Today, you need to do it. The basic schooling of arithmetic, geography, science, basics of science, language, you know, civics, etc., whatever has to be there. That is, that is a crucial foundation that you need. It's not going to help you to say, my child is never going to be a history professor. Why should he need to know what Ashoka did in the 12th century or 5th century? It doesn't matter. That's not true. But that is just, a, I'm saying that is just the foundation. Tomorrow you can decide, I don't want to remember what Ashoka did in the 4th century. Yeah, forget it. That's fine. But so long as it is there, it, we go back to Karan Johar then. You know? Then you know that what is your input into this whole thing? What is your take? Which you going, which is going to help you in the future? I need to know this also. I need to know this also. I need to know this also. Therefore, you don't. But if you don't know what you need, how will you ever get it? So there was one very simple uh, discussion I was having with my wife several years ago when my son was in fact looking for further education kind of thing. You know that I said, see, he seems to be very clearly focused on design. He's he is a designer today. So let let him focus on that. So no, but he needs to know what other options are available then he can take a conscious decision of not going for those things. But if you don't even know what is available, you know, how will you, how will you know later that Are, yeah, I should have done that. I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. Today you have that option. So therefore you need certain basic skills from schooling. Once you're into a college, then you need to be able to sample those things in a slightly different perspective with a little bit more depth. Then you take a call on what you need to do further. By that time, hopefully you should have, you know, focused on, I want to focus on design, fine. But within design, I should be good enough and flexible enough to choose any of these so many streams available within design, whether it's communication design, fashion design, or I, I'm saying to a great extent, it's uh, because it's coming uh, for me, that's, that's been a career for a while as a copywriter, for instance, I'm saying 
a copywriter is so flexible it's required in his profession today if my uh, client says i want you to write a go- ghost write a novel for me i can actually do it if i need to if he says i need you to write the lyrics for a one minute song i can actually do it i'm not a lyricist i am not a novelist but my profession has given me the fundamentals you know and it has taught me enough to be able to do it i can sit down and do it and it will be a competent job i'm not saying it might be as good as let's say uh, 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 lyrics written by javed akhtar fine it may not be but it will be competent enough <laughs> it will be the ai equivalent <laughs> so there some so those those kind of skills i'm saying is very important you know you should be able to dab- give, dabble in a few things at the early stage so that you know what you like and what you don't like if you start narrow casting your your future too early i think that's a danger as opposed to broadcasting so the word narrow casting that i'm saying is don't don't focus too sharply too early keep yourself open because you don't know what the wind might bring in <laughs> just to add to what you say that is very 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 well said rachan uh, well uh, vinay uh, you might uh, like to look at couple of documents uh, that's available on web one is uh, future of jobs report by world economic forum yeah. so what they have done is they have it's a massive study and uh, they figured out what are the skills that you need uh, which is basically what some of them rajan pointed out that you have to have that human skills yeah that's very important your, your empathy is going to be important creativity not just about skills but i am saying your your attitude your aptitude is going to be around it a critical thinking risk taking you know uh multidisciplinary that's uh, these are important uh, uh, kind of attitudes that's going to make any future professional successful no matter what uh, career it is in and and by the way there is there has been a very good study by IFIM business school along with NH, NHRDM and there's a report called be a leader 4.0 okay. that's a this is the name of the report yeah and fortunately i was able to design that report and that's on that's a free download you look for it on ifm b school website and you'll be able to and there also i think all these things are elaborated it's very uh, uh, kind of nicely uh, written document and i have also tried to do justice in terms of design of that book so if you can download that uh, uh, this thing i'll just type it it's called be a leader 4.0 just a minute have to click on that note yeah be a leader o point o reports just just this is this is free downloading it's a very small document it might take 15 minutes but it's going to help you it's going to answer all the questions that you have okay now we are almost towards the end the last few minutes is there anybody who has a question because we have two questions and that has been already answered till the time uh, the other question comes in uh, rajan one last uh, question from my side see uh, uh in fact two of them and they're back to back one is you have been a uh, copywriter you've been doing copywriting for so many years and and with many big and successful brands that you have uh, you have been doing it uh i am a visual person i am an, an artist and a designer so I, i think visually uh so for me it's very convenient because i think visually then put words to it right as a copywriter do words come to you first and then put you put visuals to it or not uh interesting i uh, often debated with myself actually what happens first but it happens so fast i i've never able to decide what came <laughs> first you know the chicken or the egg it's really typically that kind of a thing sometimes it feels almost simultaneous but yes um i i would say i'm not as visual as you are because that's your whole dna is about being such a visual person uh i i do get visuals you know so and there's an old saying if you crack scratch the surface of a copywriter you will find a visualizer underneath and vice versa okay yes uh, it, it may not be you know, specifically in english but in any language the visualizers can work with any uh, spoken language that's fine but um, what i would say is that you see most most of us are actually visual uh, that, that's uh, human beings have evolved in that manner you know they our brain has evolved in that manner that you are more visual you don't you don't um you don't tell stories only visual uh, this thing. you know it first comes to you visually and then you vocalize it when you even if you look at writing or reading 
what you are doing is actually a visual first you see visuals you know in fonts or in handwriting as squiggles on a white paper then your brain absorbs that uh, figure you know that drawing of whatever that is and it interprets as oh this is a this is b and this is c and therefore you form some communication in your head so visual comes first and then it converted into spoken uh, language you we dream in visuals right <laughs> we dream visual you don't dream words <laughs> you you dream in visuals and that's how storytelling also communicate because it's all running in your head like a cinema and uh, uh, and then you uh, speak about it and then that's how you communicate so therefore visual communication is mostly about starting with visual whether it's in your own head or you are trying to create visuals in somebody's head and you're using language to do that process you see so the language the spoken word or the written word is just a medium in between but it's visual to visual from one brain to another brain from one mind to another mind visuals work uh, that's how visual that's how human beings work i this is again <laughs> what i feel you know and we constantly looking for visual patterns you know if you if you standing let's say uh, at the airport waiting for someone to come you and you know that you're looking for a woman who's been getting down from the plane and coming outside already your mind has filtered out all male looking persons wow so, brilliant so that's it's visual so we look for patterns you know visually we we look for visuals all the time then you start filtering out further you know older woman younger woman good looking in a shawl in a burqa in a punjabi dress you know whatever that's how it it, it works it works like that that's brilliant sajal so uh, something related to this something yeah. related to this now you have also seen uh advertising agencies working for so many years and there has been very specific copywriters and art directors and they 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 super specialist a copywriter is as a copy specialist an art director is an art or a design expert right now do you think that these two professions be copywriters and art direction they are going to get super specialized i think the super specialists are going to be successful or uh something they are going to merge to the people having both kind of knowledge together are they going to be successful in future uh yeah i think that super specialization is a is a very real possibility especially because uh, uh a lot of things in the world professions and uh, fields are becoming very specialized at the same time i would say like going back to one of our earlier uh, conversations is that uh just being super specialized is not going to help because you need to be super specialized at the same time you need to have an exit plan also because you never know that super specialization whether it's going to stay and how long it's going to stay wow what what new um, what new uh, hurdles are going to come in there you know like uh, i mean we we know for a fact that you know all those uh, crossings are not going to work when you have uh, coronavirus so you know so that you need something very specialized and tomorrow once covid is solved and the this thing move on you don't need covid skills skills again right you need you need a whole new set of skills because the next virus is going to be very different and possibly more dangerous than corona <coughs> thank you rajin i think that's that that i think i've been getting comments here that was very insightful a very useful session uh, people found it uh, instructive and useful yeah the thank you messages oh, i think that's that's brilliant and rajan uh, i as the dean of vijayabhumi school of design really look forward to have you on board to <laughs> for like contributing in terms of your wisdom and your vision i think that's it's going to be very very useful oh. for future professionals yeah and mm. that we are actually looking for only 30 30 young minds uh, who are kind of uh, whom we can train to to become design leaders not just designers because everybody is a designer today we want to make them design leaders and all these insights in terms of the changing of education the how the industry is changing making prepared for a very uncertain world also like not just kind of design inputs but also inputs from data science uh, from business from law from uh, artificial intelligence and uh, uh, also from humanities and performing arts all those things are going to make a 360 degree 
kind of a communication designer that's what our dream is and we are beginning to will begin a uh, uh, little reset of time because of this covid crisis but we'll begin inshallah by 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 this year only 2020 and we are in hunt of those 30 special 30 yeah <laughs> if i may call them lovely that yeah, for bds and special 30 for mts uh, graduate from any discipline can apply and uh, 12th pass from any discipline will, can apply for bds and that's how it is yeah thank you all of you for joining uh, i i believe uh, wonderful <laughs> thank you very much sir thank you for your time rajan thank you for your thanks time thanks to all the participants who have been so patiently listening <laughs> and uh, you know i'm sure you must have, it, it must have been difficult because there are so many other priorities happening right now um, glad glad to have been uh, present over this session thank you so much great take care all of you huh? and goodbye bye 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 thank you thanks bye kumar